Well, hello there guys, I have basically got quite a commentary on this SOPA and PIPA stuff that's going on around the internet, or circulating around the internet for the past week. Uh, sorry guys, that was my phone. But yeah, uh, I'm basically going to be telling you what is SOPA and PIPA, the reasons why it's bad, why it's not good. Uh, there is basically nothing good about it other than stop pirating. Uh, so yeah guys, let's get started. Uh, the fur of SOPA and PIPA has died down, but the bills have still not gone away. Everybody has this, there's more reason than ever to pay close attention to the House's Stop Online Piracy Act. HR, also known as HR 3261, and the Senate's Correspondent Pro Protect Intellectual Property Act, S.968. These acts, while perhaps well intentioned, are not well written and could cause serious damage to the free flow of information on the internet. That's why I oppose, and many people should oppose, I. Uh, Super and Pippa. At the peak of yesterday's Super protests and website blackouts, it might have been easy to draw the conclusion that the tide was moving against the flawed bills and they are doomed. Not so, uh, because they've just merely been delayed. That's why it's more important than ever to pay close attention to what the Congress is doing. There's a lot of inf misinformation or perhaps misinterpretation about what Super and Pippa is. How Super and Pippa will affect the internet, why Super Pippa is bad and so on. Understandably, it can get confusing. Based on my own reporting, I've concluded that both SUPA and PIPA are flawed pieces of legislation, regardless of future amendments or rewrites. I firmly oppose both bills because they have the potential to harm the tech industry and hinder the peace of innovation. What, what is SUPA and PIPA? The Stop Online Piracy Act the acronym of SOPA, uh, together with the Correspondent Senate Project IP Act, PIPA, is a proposed piece of legislation intended to curb online piracy. As the bills are currently written, they give both the US government and copyright holders the authority to seek court orders against foreign operated websites associated with infringing, pirating, or have anything to do with intellectual property. If either bill comes or becomes a law, it could drastically change the way the internet operates. Which yes political party is displaying the most support for SOPA and PIPA? The answer is both, meaning both Republicans and Democrats are showing overwhelming support for these proposed pieces of legislation. If you need further proof, you should note who wrote the bills. SOPA was authorised by the representative Lamar Smith. While PIPA was authorised by Senator uh, Patrick Leahy, the White House has voices its concerns about the legislation. It's agreed that some time kind of anti-piracy law is needed to protect the American companies. It is also worth noting that former Senator Christopher Dodd is now head of the Motion Picture Association of America, the MPAA, which is one of the groups pushing for these bills to go through. How do SOPA and, Bill, oh, SOPA and PIPA tend to block websites? The bills allow the US Department of Justice as well as the copyright holders to seek out, well, seek out and prosecute foreign sites that commit acts of piracy. The DOJ needs a court order before it can proceed, which can obtain if the site, is, the site in question is operated by an organisation outside of the US or owner of the website's domain doesn't have an adequate contact information. Once once a court order has been served, there are three means tools that bills give the DOJ and the copyright holders for blocking websites. The first involve having an interest in the service provider, like Comcast for example. I block the site's domain service DNS record. To do this, ISPs would be required to lower the level of security needed to verify each site's identity and protect it against malicious hackers. This also means that SOFPA and PIPA actually make the internet far less secure than it currently is. Which sites can be currently blocked under SOFPA and PIPA? 
Contrary to much of the internet hype, both the Supa and Peppa Bulls will not be able to immediately shut down sites like YouTube and Reddit. The Bulls are going to set after sites that operate it by foreign organisations that are making money off counterfeit goods and or streaming media illegally. The Bulls, as written by their authors, won't go after US blogs or news sites. If a US site is found violating copyrights, it is subject to the laws that currently exist in the US primarily the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, the DMCA, and prior to the copyright law. Despite the foreign target, the foreign site targeting, Slopa and Pepe could eventually turn into a huge nightmare for many USB sites, especially for those who with an audience that, beyond, that extend beyond the borders of this country. Since the definition for what's considered a foreign site is vague within Sopa and Pippa, it could not it could potentially allow some copyright holders to mount convincing legal attacks against some US companies that operate internationally or allowing foreign u- foreign users to contribute to the US site. That ambiguity alone raised concern companies concerned how it will affect tech startups, innovation and Google. Because of the vague dis- definitions for the foreign sites, critics fear that Supa and Pippa will allow larger companies to sue smaller startups over copyright fit violations, even if the smaller startups end up winning legal batters- battles over whether or not they are violated Supa and Pippa. The mere threat of battle has the p- potential to ruin a company. For instance, Few founder Dim- Dimitri Shapiro recently explained how his former company was legitimated to death after Universal Music Group filed multiple lawsuits claiming that VU had violated the DMCA. These lawsuits eliminate VU's ability to con- attract new vet investors and spend lots of time on fighting in the courtroom. Eventually, Shapiro said VU was forced to lay off the majority of its employees and sell itself at a low fire sale price. Why did the courts eventually ruled that VU hadn't violated the DMCA? The co- company was essentially ruined. If Sopa and Pippa is permitted to repeat history like DMC lawsuits did with VU, future innovative startups may have a harder time achieving success. As for Google, it doesn't seem like Sopa and Pippa because it essentially allows the government to influence its search results. It's a dangerous, this is a dangerous precedent even though the proposed legislation is only trying to de- index the sites that commit acts of piracy. Google has already faced legal opposition overseas, for example, for instance, China places restrictions on what content co- He is in favour of Sopa and Pippa. The majority of major media companies Comcast, News Corp, Disney, Universal Music, Warner and so on and, organi- and organisations that support media companies MPAA and RE of RIAA and so on, are in favour of SOPA. Open Congress has an up-to-date list of organisations supporting, supporting SOPA and PIPA. As for congressional support, there are 33 co-sponsors for PIPA and 30 th- co-sponsors for SOPA. Many congressional contact pages were displaying technical difficulties, messaging or messages during the height of the protest yesterday, according to The Verge which is no doubt due to a high number of consti- constituents of wishing to voice their opinions on the matter of representatives in Washington. Who is against op- Sopa and Pippa? Plenty of organisations have come out in protest of the so- p- proposed bills, including, but not limited to, Google, Microsoft, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, Wikipedia, Cheeseburger Network, WordPress, Mozilla, the Internet Archive, and many others. I've also compiled a list of SOPA protest screenshots from sites opposing the bills as a list of gaming companies opposing SOPA and PIPA. In addition to opposition through organisations and businesses, hundreds of people gathered to protest SOPA in New York City today, and three over 3 million people signed in on the SOPA PIPA petition online. When will the House and Senate vote on these bills? The House pushed back all markup debate amendments rewrites for the SOPA until February. 
We don't have an official date for when the vote will take place on SOPA. Beyond that, Pippa, on the other hand, will be sent to the Senate floor on, for a vote on January 24th. How can you get involved? The best way to make an impact is regarding the future of SOPA and Pippa is to contact your local con congressperson. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Uh, for you guys that stuck through it, then kudos to you. Uh, Please tell me if you thought this commentary was helpful, if it did, comment, like and subscribe. If it didn't, please tell me why, dislike if you want, I don't really mind. Thanks guys for watching again and peace.